Hey friends, Michael Warren here from Essential Guitar Lessons and let's learn how to play To Sir With Love by Lulu. The B7. This is a great song for beginners to intermediate players to practice their bar chords, just in standard tuning. I'll start by showing you all the chords, so if you already know these chords, jump ahead to this time. If not, I'll break each one down for you. Don't forget if you like this lesson to subscribe and hit the notification bell, songs and lessons uploaded weekly. If you have any problems with the song, leave a comment and tell me your favourite 60s song and let me know how you went with this one. So let's get into it, let's start with the chords we're using. So we're gonna have a standard A chord, so open A string, second fret on the D, G and B, and open E string there, and that's our A chord. We're gonna have a B bar chord, so this time we've got second fret on the A string, fourth fret on the D, G and B string, and second fret on the E string, so barring the second fret there, and that's our B chord. We're also going to have a B7 chord, so barring the 2nd fret again, so 2nd fret A string, 4th fret on the D string, 2nd fret on the G string, 4th fret on the B string and 2nd fret on the E string and that's our B7. We have a standard D chord, so open D string, 2nd fret on the G, 3rd fret on the B, 2nd fret on the E, and that's our D chord. We have a G sharp, so we're going to have the bar chord there, so barring the 4th fret. Then on the A string, we're going to have the 6th fret. On the D string, we're going to have the 6th fret. On the G string, we're going to have the 5th fret and the 4th fret on the B and the E. And that's our G sharp. We're going to have a C sharp minor. So again, barring the 4th fret, we'll be playing the 4th fret on the A string, the 6th fret on the D and the G. We're playing the 5th fret on the B and the 4th fret on the E string there. And that's our C sharp minor. We're going to have a standard E chord. So open E string, 2nd fret on the A and the D. 1st fret on the G, open B and open E, and that's our standard E chord. We're going to have an F sharp bar chord here, so we're barring the 2nd fret, so 2nd fret on the E string, 4th fret on the A and the D, 3rd fret on the G, and 2nd fret on the B and the E, and that's our F sharp bar chord. We're going to have an F sharp 7 as well, so all you have to do for that one is take your little finger off, and we've got an F sharp 7, so exactly the same as F sharp, just take your little finger off, so we're making the D string the 2nd fret instead of the 4th fret there, and we have the F sharp 7. And that's all the chords we're using, so let's get into the song now. Now the strumming pattern we'll be using for the whole song is just a down, down, up, up, down, up, and that's one bar. So down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So a pretty common strumming pattern there. So let's jump into it. The intro is where the violins are building up and it's just the A chord and it's about four bars. It's not exact here and just our strumming pattern, four bars on the A. So nice and easy, let's do that. intro. Now the first verse, or the verse here, and they're always going to be the same, we start on the A and we do that for two bars, same strumming pattern. Then we go to a B7 and we do that for one bar. To a D, one bar. And back to the A for two bars. And then we just repeat that all again. We go back to the A, two bars again. B7 for a bar. D for a bar. And A for two bars. And 
that's our verse, it's not too hard, just A, B7, D and A, so let me play that for you, then we'll move on from there, starting with the A. The B7. So that's our verse, and all the verses are going to stay the same. The only tricky part in that could be that B7 there. So now let's jump into the pre-chorus. We're going to go to our G sharp, and we're going to do that for a bar. Our C sharp minor for a bar. We go back to G sharp again for a bar. C sharp minor for a bar. Then to the B7 for a bar, E for a bar, B for a bar, and finishing the pre-chorus on the F sharp 7 there for a bar. So let me play that pre-chorus for you now. It's a little bit harder, we've got a few more bar chords in there. Starting on our G sharp, C sharp minor. our pre-chorus, then we have our chorus, we're going to do B for a bar, A for a bar, B7 for a bar, A for a bar, B7 again for a bar, E for a bar, and then we're going to go to our F sharp, and we're just going to do two downs on that and hold it for two bars there. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's our chorus, let me play that for you now, starting on the B for a bar. And that's our chorus. So from there we go back to the verse again, we do that exactly the same as before. Our pre-chorus, which we play the same. Our chorus, which is exactly the same. And then on our outro, we just go back to our A again. And do that one there for four bars to finish off. And that's the whole song, it's not a long one. And it's fairly easy once you can play those bar chords. And if you can't, it's really good practice for them. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you soon.